got a 1466 sitting here, and there's something wrong in the rear end. So, let's check it out. Something is smoking under the dash. She should fire up. is making some clicking and a little bit of clunking noise in the rear end. Not too sure at all what it is. I'm going to start out by taking the brake off and seeing if any of the ball pinions have bad bearings. Got both brakes off. Got the third link cover off. It doesn't look too shimmery, shiny in there. There's no chunks of gears laying down. I did take the filter housing off and it looks as if it is a bearing. Not a gear, but it's a bull pinion bearing. Not looking too hot, but that is not uh where the noise is coming from. So next I'm going to take the range cover off and take a peek in there. Uh, there's a bearing on front of the pinion. I'm going to check that out. And yeah. Alright, here I am. I think I got a pretty good hunch. I got a hunch of what the cause of the noise was. That's the pinion. It does not look very good. Let me get it to a gear that is the ugliest. There's a couple chips taken out. Let me jump to the other side. So there is a chip, the pinion is chipped, the ring gear has definitely seen far better days. The hard face is worn through, but the pinion bearing is the main issue. She's very loose in there, so let the dissection continue.
There she be. going to be doing the diff out of there and then I'm going to bop the pinion out of there, the pinion shaft out of there and then I'll probably be doing that out also. Sounds like there's some looseness going on in there. You can see the pinion is very pitted <clears throat> and chipped. It has served its time. Thinking the pinion bearing there is also garbage surprisingly that one is well Son of a... Son of a... Wow. Look at that. If I could hold my camera right, maybe you could, huh? <laughs> Where am I here? Take the lube or tuber. Take the luber tuber right off. You can just hang out right there for now. Oh yeah. Right there, we have the pinion. And oh my goodness. Bearing wasn't looking too good. Toasted. So, flip you around. That guy. He's gonna go on just like so. Sir. Park gear, that's going to need to be replaced because that also is looking a little rough. And uh, looks like, you know, your average 60 year old woman who goes to the bar every day. After a while, they just look. Just a little bit rough. Come on, son of a bum. Okay. There we have 
Sorry for my camera. My limited camera abilities here. I guess I'm sorry. Yep. This whole pinion assembly kind of looks like kind of looks like the grandma who hangs out at the bar all the time and chain smokes Marbreds. Probably more like Winston's. All right. Well, whatever, you get it. The rest of the stuff I will spin over and inspect. But other than that, so far we need a new pinion. We need a new, obviously, pinion bearings. Gonna need a new ring gear. That bow pinion. That bullshit pinion bearing doesn't look too good <clears throat> either, but yeah. That's pretty nifty. Take notes on that. That I will do. Okay, whoop. Clean up time. Just took the diff apart. Checking all these spider gears. I think that's what they're called. I'm gonna switch out the old ring gear with this new one over here. do that so we can keep the pinion and ring gear as a matched set. So I'm going to put this back together, put on the ring gear, torque the bolts, and drop it into the housing. Alright, the pinion is in, and I do have it shimmed right where I want it. Next, I'm going to drop in the differential. Here's the old pinion. Wasn't looking too great, to say the least. And on the end of this pinion, that's 70. The other pinion was 68. So, 68, we have it shimmed to 30 thousandths, right on the button. This one would have been shimmed to 36. Yep. Reverse gear on this one was getting a little punky. But. Should be good. It is back together. Use the same shim packs on the bull pinion carriers or differential carrier. We got our backlash. Well, first we have our bar wedged in the pinion so the pinion cannot move and the pinion's pried forward. And we're looking, well, it's, it has a backlash of eight. So that's great. Other than that,
I'm gonna put some axles back on. Depending on how ambitious I feel, which typically isn't too ambitious. So I probably won't put any on today. It's Friday, it's one o'clock. The guy's gotta take a break every once in a while. Have an early day.